This presentation focuses on how to do the two key assignments for this courseware. They are research literature review and action research plan. Are you in this state now? The clock is ticking, the notebook is blank, and you have tons of articles to read or to research. Don't panic. You can do it. That's why you are here. Take a deep breath and let's get started. For the literature review assignment, think about what research questions that you want to answer and write down a few keywords that you can use for literature or library search. If you can find a good articles that's related to your topic, look further at the reference list at the end of the article. You can find even more related studies that have been done in this area. Look up those articles and their references to locate more relevant literature that are primary resources, such as original studies published in journals, dissertation books, or other formats. Organize your literature review in the following headings. First, the purpose and context statement. Why you want to conduct this literature review for what context? Second, describe your research questions. Third, Present your discussions. As soon as you have located 10 to 15 primary resources, group them under several subheadings. Let's take a look at this example of music therapy techniques and social skill development in young children with autism. And you can find comments from the instructor on this paper. The purpose of leaving the comments here is to provide you with the context of what are the issues, what are the commonly made mistakes. So in this literature review, you start with a brief introduction and then you go on to look at re relevant literature in, for example, different music therapy techniques. This one started with improvisational music therapy and the relationship to autism or young children with autism. Then you look at the activity music therapy and then scroll down to look further on the other types of therapy, music therapy techniques, such as in this one, receptive music therapy. So once you have reviewed all relevant literature related to different therapy techniques and you provide a synthesis and discussion of this literature, then you provide conclusion of this literature review assignment and provide references that are in APA format. In each section, you provide a synthesis of the research and your critical analysis of these research studies. What do I mean by critical analysis? You could look at the research methods and design of these studies. Do you see any limitations? or you can discuss the strengths and weaknesses of these studies. At the end of a literature review, then you will provide an APA formatted reference list. In your paper, you need to provide at least detailed descriptions of three studies, include information such as the research purposes, questions, what's the context of the study, who are the subjects, what are the research methods and what are the analysis and findings of these studies? For some references, you can cite just the findings to support your arguments. However, you need to have at least some detailed descriptions of three studies. You can see some of the examples on Blackboard. And here's a rubric that you can find on Blackboard or the syllabus. Now let's talk about action research plan. You want to develop an action research plan to gain a better understanding of a problem or issue relevant to your actual or potential classroom or educational settings, such as the classroom management issue, student grouping options, instructional strategies, curriculum, professional development, scheduling, etc. The action research plan should include the following sections. First, the purpose of the study or the relate rationale of the study. Then it provides a description of the problems being investigated and present the research questions. 
Are these questions worthy of the investigation? Is this study feasible? For example, you will now propose to conduct an action research that will require a large number of students for pretest and protest without the support of the district administrators. Third, what's the context of a study? Is it for elementary school, middle school, or high school? Is it an urban or suburban school? Is it for social studies or science classroom? Be specific. Be specific. Four, provide a brief literature review that could be a shorter version of your lit review assignment if they are under the same topic. Fifth, research methods and procedure. Make sure that the data collection sources and procedures are feasible, comprehensive, and appropriate for addressing a problem in the study. Sixth, under the data analysis plan, list under which under each research question what data you will collect to address the question. For example, if one of your research questions is to find out student views of the flipped classrooms. You should then talk about the data you'll be collecting to answer the questions. Is it from surveys or student interview or other specific methods? Seventh, strengths and weaknesses. This is the discussion section in which you talk about the relevance of the study and strengths and weaknesses of the plan. Provide thoughtful descriptions. Other discussion points should include the potential threats to the validity of the action research study. For example, researchers bias or research instruments, etc. Eighth, anticipated actions. Provide a description of the potential actions and changes as a result of the study. Finally, include a list of references that you have cited in the proposal. The length of the action research plan should be about 10 to 15 pages. And here's a sample of the action research plan rubric, and you can find it in um, Blackboard or Syllabus too. Now I hope this video will help to clear some of the hurdles in this process, and you will pass with flying colors. Good luck!